Ahead of the State of the City address in Palm Springs tomorrow, I sat down with Mayor Lisa Middleton for an exclusive interview to discuss some of the bigger issues this past year, where the city stands financially, and what's in store for the future. I caught up with Mayor Lisa Middleton inside the historic Plaza Theater, where the campaign to raise millions of dollars to restore the iconic building continues. A recent $5 million gift from television producer David Lee means they will likely hit their financial goal by the end of the year. To have Mr. Lee step forward uh, with uh, pretty close to half of what we need, uh, that's created a level of enthusiasm that uh, uh, we are just uh, so grateful for. Despite the pandemic, money continues to flow into the city. Tourism dollars have helped, doubling the sales tax revenue, and they're close to doubling the transit occupancy tax revenue, or TOT. Mayor Middleton says the city is going through an amazing resurgence. During the pandemic, Palm Springs tightened up restrictions with mask mandates and asking for proof of vaccination. Is that something you feel worked for the city? I believe that the efforts that we made to, uh, to stay ahead of the curve uh, have paid off. And when you look at the resurgence of our city in terms of sales tax and TOT, there's every reason to believe that people wanted to come to a city where they knew they would be safe. The mayor says the health and well-being of Palm Springs residents has been at the forefront of decision making when it comes to the pandemic. We knew we needed to, uh, to step up. There are a lot of statistics out there, uh, but the most profound is 156 of our neighbors are no longer with us. Our discussion turned to the homeless problem downtown. With the shutdown of Well in the Desert, currently people can utilize the facilities run by Martha's Village on El Cielo. And as the city works to expand help for the homeless with the approval of a new navigation center on the north side of town, the mayor says the problem is not limited to Palm Springs and that all levels of government need to work together. The new homeless navigation center uh, is you know, about to get going here. They're going to start some construction. Not everybody's happy about it. As much as $3 billion over the next three years is being talked about by the governor's office to address homelessness, this is not something that any one city alone can resolve. When it comes to growing city businesses, the mayor gives credit to past city leaders, who she says had the foresight to invest in downtown at the height of the recession. Uh, the city council of a decade ago uh, said we're going to match uh, uh, funding with uh, our local businesses. If they'll restore uh, their uh, storefronts, uh, we will provide matching funds and TOT taxes. It has paid off tremendously. However, some of the bigger projects like the Andes Hotel never took off, but the mayor says the property now known as the Thompson is on its way to being built. When I get on uh, the phone uh, with the general managers of our hotels, it's one after another talking about having a record week, a record month, a record year. Uh, the average daily rates are numbers that they never imagined that they would gain. With business booming, staffing is an issue, and so is affordable housing. The mayor says there are three major affordable housing projects in the city right now. But she says that's not enough. One of the, uh, the things I'm not proud of uh, in California is uh, that we have uh, not kept up with the demand for new housing, and that's something we've got to change. One of the things Mayor Middleton is most proud of is her participation and support of an assembly bill that now allows cities to have more control over lowering speed limits. And that's exactly what is happening on 36 streets across Palm Springs. In the last 51 months, 49 people have lost their life on the streets of Palm Springs. That's way too many. Mm -hmm. uh, we're tr trying to save lives. There have been some controversial decisions by council this year, including the removal of former Mayor Frank Bogert's statue in front of City Hall, and the unanimous decision to grant DAP Health and Queer Works $200,000 to launch a pilot basic income program providing money to transgender and non-binary residents. There was significant backlash from the public. The story went national. The mayor says headlines were incorrect 
and what the council did was provide an opportunity for DAP Health to compete for funds. With literally hundreds of programs in the works for guaranteed income uh, programs, uh, that this one program here in Palm Springs uh, was singled out for so much attention uh, simply tells us how much we have to go uh, before we really truly have uh, the kind of quality that we're used to in Palm Springs. Well, Mayor Middleton says she is most proud of the coming together of the community during the pandemic. She's excited about the future of Palm Springs and is looking forward to addressing the community with pride tomorrow. For information on how you can attend the State of the City Address, head to our website, KESQ.com.